Hello everyone, welcome to SD Locks SCP Readings. This is Shaggy Dreadlocks. Today we are going to be reading SCP-3063, A Fly. Item Number SCP-3063 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Newly discovered SCP-3063 manifestations are to be reported immediately and destroyed as soon as possible by whatever means are appropriate. All Foundation buildings and the residences of all Foundation personnel are to be equipped with the most effective insect control measures available. At no point should personnel ever interact with or acknowledge SCP-3063 manifestations outside of immediately destroying said manifestation. Any Foundation personnel or civilian individuals known or suspected to have made an agreement with SCP-3063 are to be immediately contained in the nearest Foundation facilities until the event of said individual's death. Once the affected individual has died, the remains are to be incinerated along with any organisms that may have emerged from them during their containment. Individuals affected by SCP-3063 do not require food or other external attention and under no circumstances are they to be removed from the containment while alive. If affected individuals are unable to be contained for any reason, every effort should be made by Foundation operatives to kill said individuals before the event of their natural death. If this is impossible, or if affected individuals are not discovered until their deaths, Mobile Task Force Beta 5 is to enact Procedure 18 ISLIP. Description SCP-3063 is a telepathic, Class V reality-bending entity. SCP-3063 invariably manifests as a physiologically non-anomalous adult male housefly. It is currently believed that only one manifestation of SCP-3063 exists at any given time, but this is yet to be confirmed. Manifestations are to be considered destroyed when they have sustained damage that would be sufficient to kill a non-anomalous housefly after which SCP-3063 will manifest elsewhere on Earth. No manifestation event has been observed as of yet, and it is not currently known whether SCP-3063 manifests as an entirely new individual housefly, or simply inhabits the body of an existing housefly. All SCP-3063 manifestations operate with a single goal, making an agreement with an individual. The terms of such agreements vary greatly, but almost always involve SCP-3063 promising an individual any single thing they greatly desire in exchange for an unspecified price. Such offers have included large sums of money, the love of other individuals, political power, and reality-bending ability. It is hypothesized that SCP-3063 reads the thoughts of its target to tailor an offer specific to them. SCP-3063 refuses to discuss anything other than the terms of its agreement. If an individual accepts the terms of agreement, the manifestation will immediately combust and die, at which point the individual will receive what they were promised. If an individual does not accept, SCP-3063 will continue to attempt to tempt them with larger and larger offers until either the individual accepts or the manifestation is destroyed. If an SCP-3063 manifestation is destroyed, Successive manifestations will continue to contact the individual until they consent to the agreement. After a period of 2,376 days from the moment an agreement with SCP-3063 is made, affected individuals will undergo a process as follows. First, fertilized eggs representing virtually all known species of the order Diptera will spontaneously appear within the lungs, throat, stomach, intestines, sinuses, ear canals, rectum, urethra, and muscle tissues of the affected individual. The number of such eggs typically ranges from 5,000 to 20,000. The eggs will hatch naturally, and the resulting maggots will begin consuming tissues of the affected individuals for between 3 and 14 days in order to escape the body. When this period has elapsed, the maggots will pupate and lie dormant. Within 2 to 6 days, pupae will emerge as adult flies. Newly emerged flies will continue consuming their host and breeding with each other until the host has sustained sufficient damage and dies. This typically takes between 1 to 5 weeks, and has been known to produce upwards of 50 million individual flies. When the affected individual has died, the remaining flies will cease reproducing and enter a stage of dormancy, during which they will eventually starve and die. 
a new manifestation of SCP-3063, will appear shortly after the death of the affected individual. Affected individuals will remain conscious for almost the entirety of this process, resulting in great distress. Roughly 70% of affected individuals will attempt suicide during the process. Flies generated during this process have been determined to be entirely non-anomalous. If the affected individual dies during any point of this process, or during the preceding 2,376 days, the process will stop and the flies will die. No known method of averting this process other than the death of the individual has been discovered. To date, six Foundation personnel have been contacted by SCP-3063, and attempts have been made to alter the terms of agreement to entrap SCP-3063 into neutralizing itself, though none have met with success. The following is a partial test log of such attempts. Begin test log. SCP-3063 Test number 3063-1 Tester Senior Researcher Elizabeth Gao Agreement Parameters The Death of SCP-3063 Result SCP-3063 Manifestation Combusts Eggs manifest within Dr. Gao 2,376 days after testing. Interpretation SCP-3063 apparently interprets its death as the death of a manifestation. Test number 3063-2 Tester Senior Researcher David Roberts Agreement Parameters The Permanent Containment of SCP-3063 Result SCP-3063 manifestation ceases moving and is determined to have died. The dead instance is contained within a secure containment unit below Site-63. After 2,376 days, diptera eggs manifest inside Senior Researcher Robert's body. Three months after his death, another SCP-3063 instance is confirmed. Interpretation Again, such terms of agreement seem to extend only to SCP-3063's current manifestation. Test Number 3063-3 Tester Dr. Carolyn Fairweather Agreement Parameters A permanent cessation of all activities of SCP-3063 Result Results identical to those of test number 3063-1 Interpretation It is becoming clear that permanent in the context of SCP-3063 only extends for the 2,376 days prior to the death of the individual. Test number 3063-4 Tester Senior Researcher William Marlowe Agreement Parameters Knowledge of the True Nature of SCP-3063 Result SCP-3063 Combusts A printed copy of this document, without the test log, Appears before Senior Researcher Marlowe. Process proceeds as normal. Interpretation Assuming SCP-3063 does not cheat those it makes an agreement with, this document is to be considered accurate and true. Test number 3063-5 Tester Dr. Patrick McGann Agreement Parameters Clear, understandable knowledge of SCP-3063 other than knowledge currently possessed by the SCP Foundation. Result SCP-3063 combusts. Results of this test and the following test appear printed before Dr. McGann, who proceeds to kill himself by puncturing his cardioid artery with a pen. Interpretation SCP-3063 either possesses precognizant abilities or is able to directly affect future events. Test number 3063-6 Tester Dr. Jonathan Mabry Agreement Parameters Is there even a choice? Result Dr. Mabry experiences a severe pulmonary embolism and later dies en route to the medical center. SCP-3063 combusts. Interpretation See test number 3063-5.
Any personnel contacted by SCP-3063 are expected to report the event and then use the opportunity to continue neutralization efforts. End test log. SCP-3063 is believed to have been in operation for at least 4,000 years, as the earliest known records of entities and events matching SCP-3063's description have been discovered in early Canaanite settlements. Assuming an approximately constant rate of activity, this equates to approximately 615 agreements made. It is entirely possible that SCP-3063 has been in operation for considerably longer, and Foundation archaeological teams are currently searching for earlier recordings of events that would indicate as such. Procedure I Slip 18 In the event of the death of uncontained individuals due to SCP 3063's effects, Mobile Task Force Beta 5 is to mobilize and administer said individual with 90 grams of cypermethrin. Additional cypermethrin is to be sprayed within a 10 meter radius of the affected individual. After the individual and any generated flies have died, remains are to be incinerated. Any civilian witnesses are to be given a regimen of Class A amnestics, and the area is to be closed to civilians for no less than 30 days under the pretense of a non-specific toxic spill.